Soft and solemn aims wafted in the interiors and exteriors of the edifice and structural masterpiece of St. Dominic's Catholic Basilica. The firm and fervent faces of the congregation bespoke the solemnity of the service. The odd of clergymen from the Catholic faith, guests and throng of men and women of the fourth estate spoke volumes of the stature and stamina of Dame Felicia Ulua Remilekun Oyo. At a requiem mass and final rite of passage on Friday, October 24, 2014. Guests arrived in twos and trees to pay their last respect to an iconic woman. As the processional aim, hack, hack my soul, pours into the air, the remains of Mrs. Uluwaremi Oyo was stirred into the church in a shining silver casket, preceded by a pack of priests and accompanied by a family. They took the front pew as the day's proceedings unfolded. The first Bible lesson was taken by Reverend Roland Samugana. A short exhortation was delivered by Reverend Father Jude Abulu. He extolled the virtues of Remy Oyo, stressing on life after death. She was dedicated. And in her dedication, she gave herself. In giving herself, not just to her job but to her family, but more to God, she accepted everything that came to her. A sort of Thanksgiving session followed. The processional aim crooned softly as the casket was wheeled out of the church. From the shoulders of the pallbearers into a dark tinted SUV, the remains of Felicia Uluremi Oyo was taken for interment. Tear glands ruptured. Cascade of tears flowed freely as family and friends could not put a rein on their emotions as our remains was lowered to the ground. From heaven's open the end of a rare gem, a lovely mother and a philanthropist. Oh Lord, you know. Dame Felicia Ulua Remileku Oyo was born on the 12th of October 1952 in Iloring, Kwara State. She began her illustrious career in journalism in 1973 as a reporter with the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, NBC, now Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FROCN where she rose to the position of principal editor. In 2003, she was appointed senior special assistant, media and publicity to former president Ulushegun Obasanjo. Thereafter, she was appointed managing director of news agency of Nigeria. Ever since, she has attained different positions and earned different recognition awards, both home and abroad. A great woman with an inspiring feat, Remy Oyo was a woman who recorded many firsts. She was the first female president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors, the first female presidential spokesperson, and the first female managing director of news agency of Nigeria. Until her death, she continued to support to work ceaselessly helping underprivileged children from across the country. For a grand reception, all guests converged at the Yard 158 for festivities and reveries. Decorated in splashes and swatches of purple and yellow, tables decked with floral finery and invitees bedecked in lovely apparels, the overall aura was a party worthy of a queen. Good music was supplied by Upper Favor Band as the diseased children yielded to the dance floor joined by family. There was an array of sumptuous meals and classic drinks for guests to relish and ravish. Red Carpet TV spoke to families and guests. The colleague, she was a wife, she's a grandmother to my kids and my sister's kids. She was a mentor to many people. She was a confidant. She was she was many things to many people. She was a good person. She was humble. She was real. 
And most of all, she was loving, you know. Um, and she was true to who she was and how she grew up. And she was a great mentor for a lot of people and even for me. She was a thoroughbred professional. She was a patriotic Nigerian. And she was a very kind and loving um, associate. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we say farewell to Dame Felicia Uluwaremileku Oyu.